Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our ReactJS tutorial. So part of this video, let me explain this React developer tool. So this is the extension for the open source React JavaScript library. It allows you to inspect this React component hierarchies in this Chrome developer tools. And this extension is supported for Firefox, Edge and also the Chrome. Now I'm going to explain using this Chrome browser only. So currently I'm having one React.js application, it's in running mode. So you can see this output. And then let me go to this console. So defaultly you can see this message, download this React Dev Tools for the better development experience. So let me click this link and see this download the new Dev Tools from our Chrome Web Store for the Firebox, Firebox add-on and this Microsoft Edge, you have to use these add-ons. So now let me click this Chrome Web Store. Okay, uh, you can see this React Developer Tool and we have this option for Add to Chrome. So let me include it. Add this extension. Okay, great, we have added. Now let me close this browser and I'm going to reopen it once again. Okay, the browser is opened. Now let me open our application here. Now I'm going to inspect this once again. So currently you have to see this component option is enabled and also we have to see this profiler. So let me click this component. So it will show the complete hierarchy. The first one is app and the inside that we have this browser router and then this router and this navigator something. So it's loaded our app header. This app header is nothing but our app header component. So let me show you. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. So and also you can see the information like what are the props actually we are using. So in this app header, I'm using this props title. Okay. And the next one it's rendered in this app component. Uh, the source file is app.js. Okay. Now let me go to this imply screen. Again, I'm going to this component side. Okay, great. So inside this uh, route provider, you can see this employee listing. So if you noted here in this props, we don't have any value, but in the hooks, we are using this fetch code. So if I'm expanding this one, so inside the hook, I'm having this state values. Okay, let me expand it. In the first state, we have these uh, four objects. That's what we have binded here. And the second state is having this null value and the third state is having the value is false, okay? And uh, here you can see these uh, four options. So the first one is suspend the selected component. And the second one is inspect the matching DOM. So let me click this one, okay? So now if I am clicking this one, it will select the first one. So if I'm going to the table, the table is completely selected. Now I am choosing this header. The similar way I can choose this body. So whatever DOM I'm selecting, it is selected in our browser, okay? So this is also not the feature. And the next one is log this component data into the console. Let me click this one. Now I'm going to this console. Okay, see, uh, we can see this employee listing related information in our console. So if I'm expanding, so see it is having the props, prop is empty and this hooks. So hook already we seen this, uh, we are using this use fetch hook. So it is having some data. Okay. So we can see all the information. Okay. Okay. The final one is view source for this element. So if I'm clicking, it will give the complete source code. Okay. This is the JS file employee listing. So, so we can get to the complete source code related information. So in this way, we can inspect any of the component. The similar way we can check uh, if there is any data change also. Let me show you. I'm going to select this app component. This is our base component. Here we have see this uh, state. This is the React tutorial, okay? Now what I'm going to do, let me include one button. And the text is text change. Here I'm going to write on event. On click title change okay 
now let me define this function so using this function let me change the title value so currently we have this reacts tutorial so instead of that I am going to give react tutorial for beginners ok so let me save it so you can see one button is included so the current state value is react tutorial only so if I am clicking this one so you can see this state value is changed react tutorial for beginners and this value is passed into our app header so if I am checking this app header this value is changed okay let me show you initially this should be a react tutorial so when I'm clicking this button these props and they are the state value so everything should be changed so in that way we can do this debug also for any common one. so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching